In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. Loving Father, you call all your children to learn from your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who came to serve and not be served. Merciful grant us the grace to always love serving you in our neighbor more than seeking for titles and honor. This is a prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 23 verses 112. At that time Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, the scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. So practice and observe whatever they tell you, but not what they do. For they preach, but do not practice. They bind heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with their finger. They do all their deeds to be seen by men, for they make their fractures broad and their fringes long. And they love the place of honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogues and saltations in the marketplaces and being called rabbi by men. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brethren. And call no man your father on earth, for you have one father who is in heaven. Neither be called masters, for you have one master, the Christ. He who is greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. Whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, a good Saturday to you. From the Gospel text you have heard, I've chosen the theme, Seek Service Above Honor. My dear good listener, it is very clear from the Gospel that you have heard that God wants us to be servants than people who seek for titles, who seek for honor. Because Jesus himself says it, that I came to serve and not be served. So if our Lord Jesus Christ came to serve and not be served, how much more should we take this aspect very serious? Jesus tells the crowds and his disciples not to do like the Pharisees. Why? Because they only said, they only talked, but they never practiced what they taught. And that is why even today people want leaders who walk the talk. And leaders do not look at only priests or at the religious, but even you in every place you are in, you are a leader. God has put you in charge. So if you look just for titles and for honor and forget that God has appointed you to become his ambassador here on earth, then you lose it all. That's why St. Pope Paul the Sixth said that modern man listens more willingly to witnesses than to teachers. And if he does listen to teachers, it's because they are witnesses. Therefore, the accent is put on being witnesses. The world needs people who walk the talk, not just saying what they do not do. This is the problem that Jesus found with the Pharisees. They were good orators, good speakers, but poor in practice. That's why he would again say it in Matthew chapter 7 from verse 21 and the following. Not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of God, but the one who does the will of God. So it's about doing the will. And doing the will of God comes down to the service. Serving our brothers and sisters. If you're a mother, if you're a father, if you're a priest, if you're religious, if you're a civil leader, if you're a political leader, if you are a youth leader, if you you are a firstborn. In every place you are in, remember that God is calling you to serve and not to become a commander, not to become a bulldozer, but 
to serve those who are great according to the style of the kingdom of God are those who serve, who serve like Christ, who left heaven and all the honor of heaven, came down to earth, as Philippians chapter 2 says, and became like man, humbled himself. Upon serving up to the cross, dying for us, God exalted him. So who will exalt us is God. Do not look for your own honor, titles, but serve and God will reward you at an appointed time. The same we find it in the devotion of divine mercy where Jesus tells St. Faustina, A, B, C, life. The life of A, B, C. And what is that? Ask for mercy, be merciful, and thirdly, completely trust. In God's mercy. So you see, the second aspect, be merciful, calls upon us to put into practice the mercy we have received from God. I wish you therefore the best of this Saturday. Please remember to practice what you have learned by putting love into practice, and love put into practice is called mercy. The Lord be with you. May the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish you the best of the day. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, but also to share this good news with your friends. Oh,